G'day, it's Bergs, and this is the Mua GE100, a fantastic little multi-effects device that has about 88 different effects, You ca 66 different effects, I'm sorry, you can have up to 8 in a row, you've got 80 presets, you've got 80 factory presets, and it's got a whole heap of drives and modulations, reverbs, delays, wahs, volume pedals, all sorts of cool fun. This is a Music Man Axis Super Sport, as you can see. I am running it into an Achilles Vibralux Reverb, and uh, it sounds like this clean. This is my Clean Patch User 01. I've called it clean. <laughs> Now, I've written a few patches because I wasn't entirely happy with the patches that came with it. So, as usual, I've gone and written my own. Here's my first patch. I call it Dave and Drive. It's a bit of like a, a Gilmore patch. <laughs> Here's another one with a bit of fuzz and auto wire on it. Ah, uh, here's yet another one with some tremolo. So you can see it's capable of all sorts of stuff. I'm going to go back to Dave and Drive and just go through each of the components inside. And how great is this LED? I mean, it's not often you see an LED that's that visible. So let's see. let's have a look. Let's analyse what makes up this sound. <laughs> First of all, we've got two, two knobs up here, Mode and Value. And Mode lets me switch through to the, the first effects block mode. And the first effects block I've got here is a compressor, which, as you can see, is switched off. I can switch it on like that, or off. I'll keep it off. The second block is the distortion mode, and I've chosen a tube driver because I like the tube driver and... You often hear about that being used in Gilmore's rigs. But uh, if I just click this little value knob over here, I can choose Tube Driver or Juicer Drive or Vintage OD or Super Drive, and they all have different sounds. And obviously are associated with well-known pedals. Let's move out of the distortion block into the amp block. Now there are several amp emulators. If you choose to run this gizmo direct into say a house system, you've got like F Clean, which obviously stands for Fender Clean. Uh, we can choose, excuse me, I'll just click that again. Jazz Clean, so like a jazz chorus, a bassman, a British uh, 30 watt amp, we know what that's going to be, etc, etc. It is off. I'm going to leave it off because I'm already running into an amp. We'll move across. You've got a noise gate. I've got a little bit of noise gate threshold at 21 there. An EQ, a general EQ, three band EQ. It's off at the moment. Uh, modulation, now there's a heap of different modulators. Phaser is one of them. But of course, there are others. Step phaser. Let's say I want that step phaser to be uh, a little faster. All I've got to do is hit this value knob until it gets to the speed knob and just speed it up. So now I'm in kind of zapperish territory. <laughs> If I don't want it on, I just switch it off. I move to the next block. I've got delays. There are four or five excellent delays for this Gilmore patch. I'm running the tape echo delay across again to the reverb block. Well, I've got a plate delay. Uh, if I didn't want the plate delay, I just change the type, modulator delay, spring reverb, tremolo reverb, 
a room reverb, hall reverb, church reverb, they're all of all of the favourite food groups are there and they all sound pretty damn good. <laughs> Then we get into the drums and we've got a little rhythm switch here which I can hit and it will go. Hitting the value knob will take me into how much volume, how fast I want it to be and the type of beat. And how many beats are there? Well, I think there are about 40 beats all the way up to tango. <laughs> Too much fun. Uh, we don't want the drums. We move across to the next block and we're in system settings, which is the basic output volume, the output uh, where we want the pedal to be, that's how you calibrate the pedal, and so on and so forth, all of the general system settings. So really, it's a very fully featured little unit. And to go back to our presets, we just put it back to PL here, and I can go back to clean. <laughs> By default, the pedal is a volume pedal. But I can hit the pedal knob here and I can actually elect to make it a wah pedal or an octave up pedal or a modulation pedal, octave down or reverb pedal, whatever takes my fancy. Uh, one more thing that we need to have a look at here. Actually, there's two more things. It's got a looper, a 180 second looper. So let's make a little loop. Uh cool turn loop off just by hitting the loop button lesson button inside there are lessons on all sorts of scales and modes and tonics now I have no theory so I don't really know much about that stuff but if you want to it's all there it doesn't actually do anything or play anything it just gives you a readout of what uh, modes are what and what scales go with which modes in which keys etc etc that means it represents Pretty damn good value for money, and if you're looking for a grab-and-go situation that costs you under $200 with 66 different effects and 80 presets, you better have a look at this. The Moore GE 100, and I'm just going to go back to uh, my Dave and Drive, hit a bit of rhythm, and jam out. See you later.